Delivering motion as a GIF is not always the best idea because the quality suffers, but when a Lottie export results in errors, it's one of our few reliable alternatives. Let me show you a trick in After Effects to getting slightly better quality transparent GIFs. Let's dive in. So here we are in After Effects and we have this simple animation of this circle scaling down, spinning around and scaling back up. And we need to export this as a transparent GIF. Let's go ahead and do that. So there are a few ways to export GIFs from After Effects. One of which is this free plugin called AE Juice Export GIF. This will give you a lot of good customization on the settings and the compression and the resizing and all that kind of stuff in exporting GIF. And it's a free plugin. It's wonderful. I personally prefer using GIF Gun. It's super simple, very reliable for exporting a lot of GIFs. And inside of here, we have some settings that we can change. We want to make sure that our render preset is to high quality with alpha or lossless with alpha. That will ensure that we have a transparent GIF when we are exporting it. You can resize it, change the frame rate, the colors, all those sorts of things. But we're going to actually leave everything default except for that render preset. And we're not even going to have any compression because it's a very small size GIF. It's only by a 50 by 50 pixels. So we have all those settings ready to go. We're going to make the GIF. It's going to render out. And we can see we have our GIF right here. And to give us a better idea, let's go ahead and open that up with in the browser. So we have this GIF open up in Chrome. And the reason for that is because we can actually change the background color here inside of Chrome. And one thing that I want to show you is that right now it's showing the transparent GIF on a white background and it actually looks really good. But if we go ahead and we change that to a black background, we can start to notice this weird artifacting around the edges. That is because when After Effects exports this GIF, it creates some sort of mat around the edges of the animation of wherever we have transparent pixels. It has to choose, is that going to be more white or is it going to be more black? And because of that, in this instance, it defaulted to more of a white mat. And so we're seeing this white outline around our animation. And if this is going to live in a place where it has a darker background, it's going to be very noticeable and look not great at all. If we're going to put it somewhere where it has a white background, it actually looks great. So let's go see how we can actually change this mat to suit where you're going to be putting this transparent GIF. What we're going to want to do is make sure that we have no transparent pixels on this animation so that we can choose what that color is going to be. So what we're going to do is make a new composition the same size and drop Deliver our enough. animation in a pre-comp into that composition. We can go ahead and trim it down. And then we're going to layer on a few different effects here. The first thing we're going to want to do is choose the color. And so we're going to use the solid composite effect right on top of our pre-comp. We can change this to be whatever color we want. And for this case, we're going to make it black so that it looks good on black background. So now what we need to do is basically eliminate that background, but keep only the overlapping pixels on the edge. And we can do that by using the set matte effect. And so we'll leave those settings default. And you can see now the edge of our animation is now having dark black pixels, but they're not completely black. We can see in here, we still have some transparent pixels here which transparent pixels are not a thing for GIFs. And that's why we're having that issue that we're seeing with that white halo effect around our animation. So the last thing that we need to do is do a levels effect. And we just need to change the alpha input white to one. And the level effect makes sure that there is no transparent pixels anywhere along the border of our animation. So now with these three effects, we're going to go ahead and we're going to export it again. Let's go ahead and render out that GIF. You can see now we have this terrible black outline that looks awful on a white background. But if we go ahead and change our background color to black, you can see now this animation is looking super, super smooth. Unlike this one here that had a white matte set around it. And with this process, you can set that matte to be any color. So if you're not going to have it live on a black background or a white background, maybe it's gonna be a blue background, you can change that matte to match that color a little bit more. So right here we have a white matte, black matte, and a blue matte that matches the color of the animation a little bit better. And you can see which ones actually start looking better and worse depending on what color background that we actually have here. And that's it, a super simple trick to make your transparent GIFs look a little bit better when you don't have any other options. Catch y'all next time.